Okay, good morning. So, last week we went over to Trojan Records. On today's adventure, we are heading down to Holston and we're looking at their main competitor, which was Palmer Records. So, uh, this is a really interesting bit of music history. Uh, we're looking at a record label that was started in Harrow in the 1960s, started by a family of three brothers. Uh, they moved out of the area to Holston where they opened a record label and record shop uh, and managed to score top 10 uh, top 10 hits in the UK. Um, so it's really interesting. The main aim was to bring Jamaican music to the to the UK. So let's get um, let's get running and head over there. All right, see you there. So this is 78 Craven Park Road in Harleston, North West London, and the building just here was the home of Palmer Records. This was a record shop, record company and distributor that was started by Harry Jeffrey and Carl Palmer who had all emigrated from Jamaica in the 1950s and 60s and founded this record shop. It didn't actually begin here, it began in Harrow out the back of a real estate office um, but it did, it did move here and it had the main aim of bringing Jamaican music to the UK and it was it relocated here in 1968 and it would go on to become the main competitor of Trojan Records. Palmer Records released a number of local local artists this include um, Junior English and Delroy Washington however their biggest release on the label was Matt's Romeo song Wet Dream that was ended up being banned by the UK radio and received absolutely no airplay but still managed to make it to number 10 in the UK charts in the summer of 1969, um, selling over 250,000 copies. Uh, one of the record label's f first releases, which happened in 1968, was a song titled The Champ by the Mohawks. This would go on to become one of the most widely sampled tracks in in hip hop. I think it's been sampled almost 700, 700 times, which really shows us all the importance of this and the legacy of this place that began in the back of a real estate office in Harrow and moved here. And now a song released on this label is sampled on numerous records across the world. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video, found it a little bit, found it at least a little bit interesting and enlightening. Remember, I find out most of this information through sort of Brent archives and the um, reggae map that they have up on their website celebrating uh, 2020 as the year of culture for, for Brent. Okay, we're in lockdown, but let's still try and do a bit of exploring. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.